Hi there, today I'm gonna to show you how I made this cute little ice cream favor party box. Okay, so for our party favors, we decided on a, a little box that we can stick some treats or whatever inside that we decide later. And what I've done is I've taken a piece of cardstock and um, I basically found out how tall my box was. I measured my box and in order to get um, it to fit, um, I cut my cardstock once I figured out what my length was that I needed. And um, before I, I cut this, I basically just kind of folded this up and around the box so I would have an idea of how wide of a um, seam I would need um, to fit around the box, like a book or like a jacket cover. And, um, and that was a one inch score line. So I put a one inch score line in there. And then for the sake of the video, I'm just using some snail. You, of course, would use some sticky strip or something a lot more um, heavier that will hold this box into the inside um, of this. So, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to use that. Okay. And then I've taken a piece of designer series paper and apply some snail in here. Oops. And then I attach that to the front and kind of just wanted to give myself a little bit of a spacing but before I did that I actually took a piece of ribbon and I decided I wanted to offset my ribbon so I kind of wanted to while I had some um, snail on the back of there I wanted to attach that onto the back and then attach that onto my paper so that my ribbon will actually lay underneath and you won't see my ribbon when I go to tie it. So. Okay, and then I decided that I was going to use the Sweet Scoops stamp set, and I'm going to use the um, ice cream image and the cone image from this set. So I'm using my glass block, and um, again, the best way that I find to do this is to lay this somewhere on a grid paper so that you can make sure that it's straight. And then I just basically take my block and I press my block down onto my stamp. And that way I'm sure that my image is straight when I go to stamp it. And then I'm going to take my chocolate chip in ink and I punched out a scallop from um, my scallop punch. And I'm going to ink this up. And I'm going to stamp. And I want to make sure that my one scallop is down because of how big the cone is and just push that into the middle. So there was my um, my ice cream cone stamped. Okay, and then I wanted to take the second image, which is the ice cream itself, and um, what I decided to do with this one was that, again, I'll lay it down here on some my grid paper to make sure that I've got it lined up, and I'll push that down onto my stamp. And I'll move this out of the way. I decided I was going to take some more designer series paper and with a coordinating ink so that I can kind of see it once I stamp it, I'm going to stamp my ice cream image on there, okay? So I've got a, a solid image, but I've got a little something underneath there so in case it doesn't come through or if the ink didn't totally take, I would have another image underneath there to give it kind of a dimensional look. And then I'm basically going to take my scissors and I'm going to go around and cut out this image. Okay, so I have my ice cream image and then I'm just going to take my two-way glue pen and I'm going to cover this with glue. I'm going to try and get all over it to make it covered everywhere. And then I'm just going to take some glitter and I'm going to put some uh, white glitter on there. And um, of course I just want to make sure it's coated real well. And then holding on to that after it's got a few minutes to adhere, I'm just going to shake it off. As you can see, it kind of looks like it's icy then. Okay, so I have my image, and then I'm going to apply a little pop dot onto the back. And I'm going to apply that onto the front of my ice cream cone so it stands off, makes it three-dimensional. And then I'm going to take a little bit of adhesive. And I'm going to put some adhesive right where I think I want to place the ice cream cone. And then I'm going to take my ribbon. And actually before I do that, what I want to do is I want to tie my ribbon onto the card. So I'm going to tie this first. 
Just put a little bow or a little knot bow there. And why I'm doing this was just I wanted to add some extra interest for the girls and just make it kind of prettier for them. So I tied the ribbon and then I'll attach my little ice cream dot. Like so. And I need to put a little more adhesive, sorry. Just like that. And then taking my shears, I'm just gonna trim my edges. And then taking my snail gun, I'm just, or my snail, I'm just gonna run a strip of snail right there along the edge of the box just so that I can um, hold this down once I have it in place. So I'm going to line up my box onto the bottom and then line up my box on the top and press that down. And I'll have a cute little treat box um, party favor to give to the girls at the party. Thanks for joining me. Bye.